Welcome to Whiskey Nightcaps, the channel where we do sip before sleep, and I am your unshaven, rough-looking host, Jason Davis. And today we're doing something a little bit different, okay? Typically I do the reviews, but I was challenged, I was called out by another whiskey channel, Your Drinking Buddy, and no, I'm not talking about your buddy, I mean Your Drinking Buddy, that's the name of his channel. Everybody's doing the list. You only need five whiskeys according to Reddit and we're doing it too, so let's do it. All right, so I'm doing mine a little bit different, okay? I actually came up with two lists of five and I'm gonna combine them into one. So I'm gonna list off list A right now and then I'll give you list B as I run through those other whiskeys, you ready? All right, so I don't care if you have a preference for a particular type of whiskey. Like some people, all they drink is bourbon and that's fine, right? You can have a hundred bourbons in your collection. However, I think you still need to have one of each of the major types of whiskey in your collection somewhere. You might have company. And sometimes you need to deviate from the, that, that particular whiskey that you like so that you can appreciate it even more. Everybody takes a break. Hey, instead of having a dry week, you have a week of another type of whiskey. All right, so here's list A, right? You need a bourbon, you need a rye, you need a Irish whiskey, you need a Scotch whiskey, and you even need a Canadian whiskey. Number one, bourbon. Not only do you need a bourbon, but somewhere in your collection of whiskeys, you need a barrel proof whiskey or a cast strength whiskey or batch proof, whatever they call it. It's a whiskey that has not been proofed down. So the proof of that whiskey inside the barrel is the same as the proof inside the bottle. And I'll tell you why you need it. You get more bang for your buck. The purpose of a barrel proof whiskey is to allow you, the consumer, the opportunity to proof that whiskey down to the level that you prefer. So this is Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, which I have reviewed on this channel before, and it is 66.15% alcohol. So that's 132.3 proof. This will blow your socks off for sure. This means you can add as much water to it as possible to get down to that level that you like. If you like 40% ABV, go ahead and douse this thing, or you can drink it just like this and take off the lining of your throat. Number two, you need a rye. See that? You need a rye somewhere in your repertoire. I don't care if you don't particularly like rye, you need it. It's an American classic. It was the first whiskey before bourbon. Don't you ever forget that. Now, on list B, Number two, what you need is a local whiskey. You have to support the local distilleries in your area. Now I have Sagamore Rye, which is down in Baltimore, not too far from where I live, short distance from where I work, and I've been there, done the tour. This is their Barrel Select whiskey. I really like this sucker, boom, and all the other whiskeys that they have, finished rye whiskeys, and I'll make sure that their distillery doesn't shut down. You can't just support the big giants. You have to put some money into the pockets of the smaller guys to keep them going. Number three, Irish whiskey. What do we have? Boom, look at that. Jameson, a classic Irish whiskey. Uh, and number three on list B is a finished whiskey. You must have a finished whiskey somewhere in your collection and also have a video on what a finished whiskey is. So if you don't know what it is, I'm not gonna tell you because I need you to click on that link. Now, this is Jameson's Castmates and this is finished in stout barrels. Barrels that used to hold stout beer, very creamy texture. Finished whiskeys add so much more variety to the whiskey community that it's crazy. Get you one if you don't have one in your closet. And if you don't have some Irish whiskey, I don't care if you're just a bourbon drinker, go get you some Irish, man. All right, so what did I say? You need a scotch. Scotch is the Rolls Royce of whiskey, okay? It is the Mercedes, it is the Lamborghini, it is that luxury car of whiskey. And if you don't have some somewhere, 
in your closet, all right? Go to the store right now, cut this off, go to the store, come back, I'll wait for you. Right here. All right, now, number four on list B is <laughs> a hyped up whiskey. And I know that sounds crazy to even recommend that, but yes, somewhere you need a whiskey that's been hyped up to the heavens uh, so that you can experience for yourself that sometimes price matters and sometimes price doesn't matter. And it may make you appreciate uh, your everyday sipper even more. Now this is Dalmore 12, you see that? Mm, get in there. The bottle, the presentation of it, Richard Patterson, is it Richard Patterson or is it Robert Patterson? I think it's Richard Patterson who is the, uh, I believe he's the master blender, but he's also like the uh, ambassador for this. His personality alone will make you purchase this whiskey. Uh, I couldn't wait to get this. I was hyped up like, oh my God, Dalmore. Then I got it and I was like, eh, that's okay. All right, now number five, and I know, I know that some people are gonna kill me for even recommending this, but yes, I did say earlier on that you need a Canadian whiskey somewhere, right? Canada is our neighbor. It only makes sense that we will support them, okay? And truth be told, a lot of Canadian whiskey previously was American whiskey. Some people don't know that. Um, this one here is 40 Creek. Each type of grain in this particular whiskey was distilled separately and then mixed together. A lot of Canadian distilleries do that. Number five on list B is what I like to call a TV whiskey. Now, some people may call it a budget whiskey, an everyday sipper. I call it a TV whiskey and I'll tell you why. When I watch TV, I want to pay attention to the TV, but I have this nasty habit of nosing and still trying to figure out the nuances uh, of whiskeys when I'm drinking. And if you're watching something like an action flick, you don't have time to do that. So you need something that is kind of basic, uh, you know, not something that's, 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 bad, that's bad or, you know, that tastes horrible, but something that you don't have to pay attention to. You can just sip it and feel the effects of it. 40 Creek, boom. I think I got this for like 17 bucks or something like that. So you can just, Ah, I just down this and you won't feel guilty uh, when it's time to turn this bottle over and hashtag bottle kill. So that is my list. Those are the five or really the 10 whiskeys. You only need five to survive if you're on a deserted island. You only need five in your house. And this is my list of five. If you don't like it, you can get the out. Whiskey nightcaps. Peace, baby. Let me know the five types of whiskey that you believe you can't live without. Put those down in the comments. If you disagree with me, let me know. You can't hurt my feelings. You only need five. So throw out those other 95 that you have.